wow. And I thought Shandu was an odd burg. Look at this place. The spirit faith is stronger here in Arjul than it is in Rashagal. Whoa, check those out! That's something you won't see anywhere else in the world. It's one of Kanbalar's famous mountain slide cars. What are they? Kanbalar was built along the peaks of a mountain range. Those slide cars connect the multiple districts together. Don't they look fun? I bet we could see forever in one of those. How do we go about meeting the king? I'll request a royal audience for you when I seek permission to use the wyverns. Don't get your hopes up, though. Many people come to the capital seeking an audience, so you may need to wait a bit. I suggest resting at the inn until I get back. I bet right now you're trying to think of a way to do things without Jurgen's help. Uh, just try not to make trouble for him, okay? He's a nice guy. My stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Again with this one. Good performance, but terrible fuel efficiency. My stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Again with this one. Good performance, but terrible fuel efficiency. <sighs> Is something wrong? Aren't you gonna go inside? Looks like somebody's lost his nerve. It's not any easier with you staring. Ju, you're here! Hey, what did I tell you about yelling here? But they told me to run and get the doc! They meant Dr. Mathis, but you're a doctor too. You can handle it, right? Handle what exactly? Come on, hurry up! Maybe we should go see what happened. Jude! What happened? Our patient was just brought here. They said she abruptly collapsed. She's in serious condition, but we'll have to wait for your father to examine her. Is he on a house call? Yes, at the edge of town. It'll be a while before he gets back. I... I'll take a look. I think her mantle lobe is hardening. She'll die if we don't do something. Then what are we waiting for? There's too many possible causes for it. She needs to be examined at a real hospital. Dad? Her manilobe is hardening from anomalous spirit activity. Ellen, get me the Mustar and the Mikas. Right away. But Dad, if it turns out not to be a spirit anomaly, that medicine would only make it worse. 
Help me or get out of the way. But... <sighs> The patient is regaining consciousness. She should be fine now. Thank goodness. Your judgment was flawless. That's my job. But if you had made the wrong diagnosis, she wouldn't have survived. Of course. I take full responsibility for my decisions. Because that's what a doctor has to do? No. Because it's what an adult has to do. Why are you always fighting without me? Well, if you insist on leaving me out, so be it. I haven't fought in a very long time. I guess no one wants some old geezer channeling spirits for them. back? Not yet. Elise, want to do some sightseeing? <laughs> Miss Elise, why not join Leia? Come on, Elise. Gosh, now that Tipo's giving us the silent treatment, I guess I need to pick up the slack. You, talk more than before? Impossible. Meh. Hey, just because Tipo's gotten quiet doesn't mean you have to. I'd love to hear more about you, Elise, in your own words. Shut up, Leia. You're the one holding us all back, after all. Huh? Elise, that was uncalled for. You should apologize. You must have really crossed the line if Mama Mila is scolding you. I hate Mila! And Leia too! Hey, where are you going? Ouch! That stung a little, not gonna lie. Please, do not let it get to you. Uh, oh, I I'm fine. We need to get Elise back.
Try to stay away from the eaves of the houses. The snow on the roofs could tumble down on you. to be alarmed. This is purely a chance encounter, nothing more. Elise, I'm sorry about before. I can't imagine how lonely you must be without the old Tipo. I know I have a bad habit of opening my big mouth without thinking. Please forgive me. No. Come on, don't say that. I'll beg if I have to. I thought you and Mila were my friends. I hate you. I hate you! Can't you see that I'm just worried sick about you? Liar! You don't care about me at all. I don't want to be friends anymore. Miss Elise. Everyone is being kind to you right now because you have them so concerned. You say that you feel hurt, but have you considered your own actions? Do you realize that Tipo's words were just as hurtful to Miss Leia? I hurt Leia? Well, hurt is a strong word, but... You took the wind out of my sails, that's for sure. I had no idea. Why don't you try apologizing to her? But... I said such horrible things. I am certain she will forgive you if you ask nicely. Forgiveness is the sign of a true friend. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Sure, but under one condition. From now on, I want you to tell me more about yourself using your own voice. Huh. You're not the boss of her. You're only three years older. Tipo, stop! Elise? Yes? Even if it's only three years, I'm still older than you. Right. Bossy Leia! Scary Leia! <laughs> There's a lesson here, child. Never take your friends for granted. So what do we do now? Jurgen still hasn't gotten back yet. We could just barge into the castle ourselves. For the hundredth time, let's not cause any trouble for Jurgen. That's no good? Hmm. It sounded like a good idea to me. face as a sign of affection I've never seen Tipo get so close with anyone else before so that was like a Tipo kiss it was my first kiss was stolen by Jude <gasps> stolen that should be my line 
I can't believe I'm having this conversation with a puppet. Don't be coy, Jude. You have to take responsibility. Oh, Jude. Responsibility? Responsibility for what? Fighting's almost second nature at this point. You really do have a knack for combat. Maybe you should look into a career as a mercenary. I teach you everything you need to know. Me? A mercenary? No way! I couldn't bear to see Jude turn out like Alvin! Tipo's right! Yeah, that wouldn't suit Jude at all. Nor would I trust Alvin's guidance on the matter. It's unanimous, then. Motion denied. Ouch, that's harsh. When did I become the least influential member of the party? Don't worry, Alvin. The least influential member isn't you. That would be the guy whose opinion is completely ignored even when the topic is focused around him. Uh, well, um... Don't let it get you down, kid. Tipo, please! Stop saying mean things to Leia! But that's on you, Elise! No! I don't want to insult my friends! But at the bottom of your heart, don't you want to? No! You're wrong! Don't say things like that! Bad, Tipo, bad! Hey, take it easy, you two! But Tipo's been saying horrible things! It's alright! I don't mind. Always meddling with us just because you're a few years older. But... but I like it when Leia meddles. Yep, she really does feel that way. Oh, thanks, Elise. Guess I'll keep right on meddling then. Oh, that was good eating. Tipo, what exactly is it that you absorb from foes? I'm not really sure. It's like their energy or enthusiasm. Is that nutritious? Beats me. But when I'm hungry, before I know it, I'm chowing down. You really are a peculiar creature. What does enthusiasm taste like? It depends on the person. For example, yours tastes like strawberries. What? When did you absorb mine? I don't need to absorb it to know. I can just tell. Huh. That does sound appetizing. Wait, what? city in such a high place. Well, I guess... maybe it's just more impressive that way.
should allow me to go take the battle. Now! Three, four, yeah, now! I'll cover you! Uh, 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 now! Uh, you ready? Keep on ready! ready. has a new hobby?
Thank you. 